Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. I'm Joanna and in this video we're going to be doing the complete opposite of what it says on my sweatshirt. We're going to be making a pusheen out of air dry clay where she's going to be moving a lot. If you're new here then a huge welcome and please click that subscribe button to become a cutinator. And also be sure to follow me on Instagram under my username Macaroon. So without further ado, let's get started. My original inspiration was this Pusheen tag which was attached to some earmuffs that I bought recently. We'll be using this as a reference image throughout the video. This method works great with any character, so feel free to make other designs of your choice. If you want to give this as a gift, then you can turn it into that person's favorite animal or use something from their favorite fandoms. This is also a great present for parents because they can keep it on their desk at work. To get started, you'll need a fidget spinner, air dry clay, acrylic paint, and some craft glue. It's the end of 2017, so I'm pretty sure that all of you have a fidget spinner lying around somewhere. I'm also pretty sure that most people have stopped playing with these by now, so this is a great project to repurpose those spinners. Before you get started, it's always helpful to have some water at hand when working with air dry clay. I'm going to be using the brand Hearty by Padico, which is one of the best crafting clays you can possibly get. It's got a fluffy, silky texture and holds its shape perfectly. Polymer clay is not ideal for this DIY because it shrinks too much while being baked and will end up detaching from the fidget spinner. So first we're going to make a pusheen grey colour using acrylic paint. I'm simply applying black and yellow ochre directly onto the clay. Then mix everything together and feel free to use gloves for this part in case you don't want to get paint on your hands. I noticed that the pusheen on the card had a slightly pink undertone so I added a touch of cadmium red as well. I always recommend using warm grey colours with yellow or pink undertones on crafting because these tend to be a lot more pleasing to the eye. Just mixing black and white together produces a very sterile grey colour that lacks depth and looks like pavement or metal. Once you have your clay, remove a small piece about the size of a grape. You'll need this later on, so wrap it in plastic or cover it with a face wipe to prevent it from drying out. Now form the remaining clay into a ball. Roll it between your palms like this so it becomes thinner at one end and looks more like an egg. I realized here that I made my pusheen slightly too small, so I would definitely recommend using a bit more clay from the start. This will make the whole DIY a bit easier. Now gently push into the base with your thumb and start creating a hollow shape. Hold your other hand outside so you can control the thickness of the clay. Make a small indentation to the top and push out two ear shapes. Keep going until your pusheen body is wide enough to cover the fidget spinner. Then carefully position the body on top and use water to smooth the clay into place. Make sure that two ends of the spinner are facing front, in roughly the same places as the feet. You might need to use small bits of clay from the piece you set aside earlier to seal up all the gaps. It's important to handle the clay very gently at this point, because if you press too hard on one side, then the whole body might fall off by accident. Once the machine is well attached, check that it spins smoothly and there's no clay blocking the bearing. Now take a small piece of remaining clay and color it yellow using acrylic paint. Roll this into a ball and flatten it slightly. Next, take a cotton bud or a thin brush handle with a rounded tip. Press this through the center and widen it slightly to create a donut shape. Then mix up a tiny amount of pink clay. Apply some water onto the donut so the clay sticks more easily. Roll this into a snake, then flatten it down and drape it across the top of the donut to create frosting. It doesn't matter if it looks a bit rough at this point, simply use water and a toothpick to smooth everything down. 
Roll the toothpick along the pink edges like this to create uneven edges for frosting. Now take two small pieces of grey clay and form these into balls for hands. Use a bit of water to stick everything into place. If your clay is starting to dry out at this point, then you can also use some craft glue instead. Be sure to smooth down all the edges so the clay is firmly attached. Then repeat the process with Pusheen's feet and tail. Now leave your piece to dry overnight. The next day, everything should be hard and we can start adding the details. Once again, I'm going to use this card as reference. First, use a toothpick to scratch out guidelines for the eyes, mouth and fur markings. Pusheen isn't hard to draw once you remember that all of her facial features line up horizontally. Now I'm mixing up some dark grey acrylic paint using the same colours that I added to the clay earlier on. To see if you have the correct colour, just test a tiny bit on the underside where it won't be noticeable. Now you can start filling in all the details. I'm starting with the fur markings and using a very thin paintbrush for this. You need to be a bit careful here because it's quite difficult to correct mistakes. This is why it helps a lot to scratch on some guidelines first. Now I'm switching to a toothpick for the even tinier details. I chewed the end slightly so you can hold more paint. I find that it's easier to paint using a dotting technique instead of trying to draw lines or circles. This gives you most control over the shape. Painting the face requires a lot of precision, so it's much easier to do this with a stiff toothpick that doesn't bend compared to the soft bristles of a brush. For the final step, I'm going to decorate the donut with real sprinkles. Sprinkles are made from compressed cornstarch, so there's almost no chance of it going bad at room temperature. However, if you live in a very hot or humid country, then it's best to make some fake sprinkles out of clay just to be safe. And of course, the easiest method would just be to paint on some dots instead. Squeeze out a tiny bit of glue and dot it onto the donut using a toothpick. Then press your sprinkles into place and check that you have a nice arrangement of colors. White glue dries transparent, so don't worry if you accidentally apply too much. And now your super cute Pusheen spinner is done. This is perfect as a desk toy and surprisingly relaxing to play with. It's basically the same thing as a fidget spinner, but turned into a much prettier looking piece of room decor. You can get really creative with your design and customize it in all kinds of ways. If you like Pusheen DIYs, then be sure to check out these other ones, all of which I've linked below. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and the next DIY on cute life hacks is also going to be air dry clay, so make sure you're subscribed to that as well. I'm Joanna, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!